welcome to our lesson on angles about a point. To calculate angles about a point, we need to know two angle properties. The first one is that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So A at B is equal to 180. And the second angle property is that angles about a point add up to 360. So we can work out angle A because it lies along a straight line with the 130 degrees. So angle A plus the 130 will equal 180. So angle A must be equal to 50 degrees. So we know angle A is 50 degrees. We can work out this blue angle because it lies along the same straight line as A. So that'll be 180, take away 50. So that'll be 130 degrees. And we can work out angle B because it lies along the same straight line as the blue angle. So that would be 180, take away 130, and that will be 50. So you can see we have pairs of angles which are equal, A and B, and we have 130 and 130. These are called vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are equal. We can use this property throughout the lesson. So we can work out angle A using vertically opposite angles. So it will be equal to the 15 degree green angle. And we can work out angle D because it lies along the same straight line as angle E. So that would be 180 take away 15 which is 165 and this is vertically opposite to angle C so that will be the same and we can check that this is right because we can add them all together to get angles about a point so we have the 15 plus the 15 plus the 165 which is angle C plus angle D which is, again is 165 and together they all add up to 360 which is right angle f we know it lies along the same straight line as the orange angle so this will be 180 take away 135 degrees which is 45 degrees and we can check that this is right because we should all add up to 360 so 45 plus 135 plus 180 and that does add up to 360 Okay, let's try some more questions. We're going to try and work out angle G, angle H, and angle I by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so question G. We know all four angles are angles about the point, which means they will add up to 360. And this angle means it's 90 degrees. So we have 90 degrees plus the 135 plus the 25 plus angle G is equal to 360. We can add these together and we get 250 plus angle G is equal to 360. We can take away the 250 from both sides. So these will cancel. So we're left with angle G is equal to 110 degrees. The next question, we know all three angles are angles about a point, so they will add up to 360. So 300 plus this angle H plus this angle H will equal 360. Because they've been noted with the same letter in algebra, that means that they have the same value. So we have 300 plus 2h will equal 360. We can take away the 300 from both sides. And for these will cancel. So 2h will equal 360 take away 300, which is 60. So 1h will be equal to 30. And we can check that this works. We have 30 degrees here, 30 degrees here, and in total, 300 
plus 30 plus a 30 does make 360. Okay, let's try our last question. We have 134 plus a 28 plus 112, which makes 274 plus the two eyes. Our angle is about a point, so they add to make 360. We can take away with 274. So 2i will equal 86 degrees. So one of the angles will be equal to 43 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.